Okay, today we are going to be replacing a capacitor on a train RTU blower motor. <laughs> Safety first, wear PPE and remember to turn the power off to the unit and be sure to discharge any stored electricity in the old capacitor before replacing it. So with the power off, I'll remove this side panel. And again, it's important to never touch the top of the capacitor where the terminals are because they do store a charge of electricity. So always discharge them before replacing a capacitor. And remember to replace like for like. So look at the rating on the old capacitor so you order the correct capacitor. Right there. So as far as the microfarad rating, voltage rating, etc. So I'm wearing gloves and I'm going to use my insulated screwdriver here to simply short out across those two top terminals and that'll dissipate or discharge any stored energy in that old capacitor. And again, microfarad ratings right there on the label and the voltage rating. And again, discharge it. So there's our new one. These are nice to rate for 440 and 370 volt, so you're covered there. Woo! And this one's not polarity sensitive, so it doesn't matter which wire I hook up where, it'll work properly. But if you're ever in doubt, you can take a picture of how the old capacitor was wired or label your terminals so you know what wires go where. I also like to write the date that I install the new capacitor. So this metal perforated steel tape works great to make your own capacitor mounting bracket if your existing capacitor bracket is broken or missing or not the right size. Simply cut it with some tin snips and screw it in place. Okay, now let's turn on the unit and verify the blower is working. Please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, and thanks for watching.